Hey everybody, I figured um, I posted on a video. I've been seeing a lot of connectivity issues um, that people are running into in various forums, uh, meaning they're having issues connecting the Eversolo app uh, to their actual device. Um, and I'll share what I've learned and, and some of the things that I've seen. Um, more specifically, you know, if you go to settings in the network, you know, there are, of course, Wi-Fi setting, wired settings, um, and things like that. Um, in my case, I have it wired. Um, it's actually connected through a wire to um, a mesh network, and so it's not truly wired. Um, but uh, that generally helps with just a better connection, better sound, um, better connectivity overall. But what is important here is, you know, most Wi-Fi networks you get from your network provider use DHCP. Um, and what DHCP does is it randomly assigns IP addresses to devices that connect. But it also means that it changes the IP address. So, you know, one day a device connects, gets one IP, maybe a week later it's, it times out, and then it gets a new IP. And that's how it actually kind of balances and rotates across your network. But that's a problem because if your IP address on your device changes, then your app can no longer talk to it. And so you'll find that you launch it and suddenly, suddenly it can't find it. As you know, you know, you have it kind of configured with the app. Here's my IP address. So what I've done is, you know, I still use DACP, but I use the, the device address. And so you see this thing called Mac address. The Mac address is actually a unique device ID. That's this particular device. Um, and so what I've done is, you know, I've written down the device address. I've gone into my router um, and then there I've reserved a static IP address within my range. And so you can see the one ending with 66. You see what I have on here, 66. And so when I actually flip to a screen on my router, you can actually see that I've used the MAC address on the device. I've not used DIC, but I said, no, reserve an IP. And I've always used the same IP address and I save it. Xfinity is my provider. And so what that does is every time my device wakes up, connects, it does whatnot, it recognizes the address and it always assigns address 66. And so that way I don't have issues with suddenly my app stopping to work and things like that. Um, I would recommend if you do have connectivity issues, make sure you're not running a VPN or something on your device, the device itself, that might mask or hide the IP address. You know, sometimes um, Apple has a, you know, hide my IP or other things like that that could also interfere with it. The other thing that I wanted to highlight is, I think many of you know about the phone, phone control issue, which is when you first set up your device. So when you um, click phone control, there's a, you know, QR code that you can use. This has never worked for me. And so I generally just ignore that thing. And then what I do uh, actually do is to simply, you know, if I go to my EverSolo app again. So what I do is, you know, typically to connect a new device is you hit the plus button, pick a DMP A6, you know, of course hit the next button. And you know, it'll start looking for it. It'll ask you to scan with the QR code. All that stuff didn't work for me. And so what I do is just hit the plus and then in this particular screen, that's where I type the IP address. And so, you know, it tells you what to do here, but that just didn't has work. And so that's a sure way to make sure it connects. I just skip over the whole QR process. So hopefully that's helpful, um, you know, trying to help some folks out. But um, I would say if you can assign a static IP address to your device, use the MAC address, um, that more or less uh, should help in most cases just to keep the same IP and then your app should continue to work. So hopefully that's helpful. Enjoy. Thanks.